this is a short introductory on cross stitch. There's a variety of different ways to do it. There's pre-stamped cross stitch. There is the ones done on eight o'clock and even we where you actually count your stitches and put your little X's where the pattern shows you. This is just an example of some of the different types. This one is done with a lot of open empty field work that you do not work on. But as you go down the pattern, it has a variety of different designs or shapes or whatever it is that you've chosen. Or you can have one that has even more field showing. And in this case, you do threads over your work to highlight it, uh, accent it. The problem is sometimes if you're not careful, the threads will break. And if you don't have your original pattern, sometimes it's hard to know where to put what. Or there's ones where the entire piece of fabric is covered in cross stitch, like this peacock that I'm working on at this point. And the other is called even weave. Although this isn't cross stitch, it's still a good example of even weave fabric. As you see, it just looks like regular fabric. It's like a linen. And you would do your cross stitch and each tiny little hole across each individual thread. This would be like 26 count, which is a little small for me. I will show you in the actual video the difference between 11 count, 14 count, 16 count, 18 count uh, choices of needles, which ones you would use, with or without embroidery hoops, um, picking your pattern, even you have a pattern where everything comes with it, which is a kit. You get the fabric, the needle, the instruction, the thread, and the chart. Or like in this case, all I got was the chart. And the chart shows you the colors you need to get and all the other information you need. We'll go through some of that also. And then I'll show you how to work with your chart, taking it from something tiny to something you used to read, how to keep track of what page of your chart you're on, and a lot of other little tidbits of knowledge. Hopefully this will spark your interest in doing counter cross stitch.